At this time, I would like to invite Boris to come forward and take a seat. Boris is escorted by his parents, Charles and Donna. Please join me in pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this place. We give you thanks for Forrest Evans, the work that he's done to achieve the Eagle Scout Award. We give you thanks for his parents, for the many in this room, scout leaders and friends, other Boy Scouts along the way. We ask that he might continue to do your work as, as he soars as an eagle in this world. We give you thanks and praise. For these things in your holy name. Amen. You may be seated. Introduce Mr. Long, who will open the Seagull of Court of Honor. Good afternoon. Jim Charles, I was supposed to be here. Uh, he served as Forks, Forks uh, Assistant Scoutmaster for the last Jamboree, National Jamboree at Fort APL. In fact, it was the last Jamboree at Fort APL, the Regional Board at APL. Um, so typically, a member of the council opens these proceedings when you have an eagle ceremony. I have to be a member of the board with the greater honor of the council. So uh, it, we, we now will officially open these ceremonies uh, and these proceedings for the purpose of promoting four sevens to the rank of eagle. In all the world's history, the last 100 years have marked some of the greatest achievements of mankind. Many of these accomplishments from Americans, from breakthroughs in science, medicine, and technology, to leadership in government, business, and the arts. Many of the men shaping America's events and destiny share one honorable legacy. They are Eagle Scouts. <laughs> In the past 100 years, more than 2 million scouts have earned the Eagle Award, scouting's highest rank. Generations of boys grow into skilled young men, advancing through scouting's ranks with hard work, perseverance, and a commitment to the sacred honor, honor of the scout hall. On my honor, I will do my best. To make my training, many make my earn training, the Eagle Award rank, counted among and their most rank prized Eagles, possessions. Count strongly for better scouting. Count strongly for better scouting. And for better citizenship. For better citizenship. They learn not only positive leadership skills, but develop character, ethics, and a personal sense of duty to their communities and country. While for me, earning 
the rank of Eagle Scout was a, a major accomplishment. I felt really very proud, and I was very proud of what I had accomplished, but more importantly, it, it meant to me um, the fulfillment of a lot of people's hopes and dreams and my future. Being an Eagle Scout meant more as years went by, even than it did when I got the, the award. Those Scouts, that small percentage that go on to be Eagle Scouts, they often find themselves in the leadership positions here in our country, and we've seen uh, there's a variety of people from presidents to astronauts that are involved in scouting and particularly achieve that Eagle Scout rank. The year is 1912. New Mexico and Arizona become states. The Titanic sinks on its maiden voyage. Woodrow Wilson is elected president. And a young man named Arthur Eldred becomes the first Boy Scout to earn the Eagle Scout Award. In fact, a total of 23 Eagle Scout badges were earned that year. Through the decades, the number of Eagle Scout badges awarded reached new milestones, with Alex Holsinger becoming the one millionth Eagle Scout in 1982, and Anthony Thomas becoming the two millionth Eagle Scout in 2009. Scouts earning their Eagle during 2012 will receive this special rank patch, commemorating the Eagle Scout Awards centennial celebration. Perhaps no one is more familiar with the history of the Eagle Scout Award than distinguished Eagle Scout, Dr. Terry Grove. His collection of Eagle Award medals is considered the largest in the world. The fun thing is to watch a father bring his son in and walk over and say, that's my Eagle, that's what mine looked like. With a century of Eagle Scouts helping to guide the course of American history, now in our rearview mirror, What's in store for today's new generation of Eagles? And how do they view their role in shaping America's next 100 years? I feel so confident now when I walk into rooms and I can tell people know that I just got my Eagle Scout and they, they, they tell me congratulations. It just it makes me feel so good and you know it definitely does give me a lot of confidence to say that I'm an Eagle Scout. Eagle rank to me in 10 years means more of it's not the actual rank, but it's what I learned from getting to the rank. And that's probably leadership. I had this idea of joining the Navy. And then when I, when I did join, I put down that I was an Eagle Scout. And it surprised my recruiter, and it surprised a lot of people. And it made, me, it made them look at me in a different way. I have great respect for the kids that are Eagles today, and believe that they are just as solid as any Eagles ever been from Eldred right through to the present time. An Eagle Scout is more than wearing a badge. It's a lifelong state of being. One never was an Eagle Scout. One is an Eagle Scout.